Hey Paul, you about ready to go? Yep. Hi guys. Well, here we are in my apartment in Manhattan, getting ready for a bit of a drive. Paul came down from Albany, partly to visit, which is nice. But we're on our way out to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Three hour drive, both ways, each way. It's gonna take longer than three hours, I well, guarantee Well, no, we're, we're not gonna have traffic trouble this time of day. But the deal is, I received an email and then a call after posting on Fountain Pen Board and the Zoss List that at Philadelphia at the show a couple weeks ago, a fellow had shown up who was not a regular dealer or collector but had a personal collection with him and sold his entire table of modern pens in about 10 minutes to a dealer. I was emailed uh, by somebody who was interested in having the same thing happen, had a personal collection he'd built over 20 to 30 years, wanted to move it all at once. I volunteered interest, got in touch with Paul, who's often partnered with me on pen collections and knows more about modern pens than I do, and we're getting ready to go to Lancaster for a long drive. I'm hoping that this collection pans out and that everything works out well. My only worry is because Paul took the train and didn't bring his larger car, mine being a two-door Honda, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get everything into the car. Be crazy. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, forgive me. What do you mean? How can you not get all those the pens in the car? Well, I, I had a long phone chat with the owner. He says he has 300 to 400 boxed modern pens. What's that? Well, first of all, David, you don't think we're going to buy all the pens, do you? I plan to. Well, are, are you got this thing on? It is running. Oh, all right. Uh, I hope. I'll double check. Well, all right. Well, I can check. Well, never mind. No, I'm, I'm, first I'm, 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 I'm of all, your opinion. I first of all, number one, reason. don't count your chickens before they hatch. And number two, if you can't fit 300 pens in a in a car, you got a problem. Oh, pens are great, but you know how these modern pens are. The boxes are five times the size of the pens. I mean, have you ever tried to put boxed modern pens in a suitcase? No. You get like 20. I don't do that. I just leave the boxes home. I've got a solution. Well, they, the boxes can't be that big anyway, so don't worry about it. Eighty garbage bags. We put we put five. All or right, 10 bring the garbage, garbage bags. bags if you have to. All right, but don't worry about it. It's not going to be a problem. I think it's going to be a problem. Right, I doubt it. Listen, but go ahead. No, we had a good talk. He sounds like a very interesting fellow. He has he sounded, mm -hmm. described nice pens, and I explained how it works to buy an entire huge collection at once, and he's in agreement on the principle, and um, I think we're going to get these. I'm sorry. I uh, didn't realize that we were doing a thing here, and I was... All right, I'll put that down. Uh, Are you texting during our video? I've never... I've, uh, I just learned how to text. I'm texting my daughter. I've not, I haven't really uh, gotten the hang of this thing yet, but... Anyway, well, and I don't, I don't like texting, but... Uh, he said he has a large quantity of Omos, Pelican, Parker, Conway Stewart, and he's interested, and he understands, and we talked about things, and he sounds like... He has reasonable interest. Oh, good, good. Well, we'll see. Well, we'll see what happens when yeah. we get back. All right. Can All I right. finish my... You finish your text. I'll right. sign off. We'll come back in a bit and see if we actually manage to get anything. Of course, if this turns out to be terrible, I probably won't film a follow-up. How do you get the caps in? We're back in Manhattan. I haunt in the Upper West, which struggled mightily to carry all these pens back from Lancaster. Inside the service entrance is none other than friend and author Paul Areno. You'll notice quite a number of garbage bags and boxes all the way from the main hallway here to the doorway. These are 30 gallon, I believe, garbage bags. I could mistaken, be mistaken in that size. Hey Paul, what's in all the white bags and boxes? And there you have it, folks. More later. Okay, we're back in my apartment building. We pulled everything in through the service elevator. Thanks to the carry carts, we have everything ready to go in the elevator at once. Quite a number of bags of mint 10 to 30 year old quality fountain pens, Omos. Oh, there's Paul Reno hiding in the back. Hey, Paul, you had a fun day today? It's Paulie Reno hiding in the back of the uh, two cartons of, or excuse me, Carts. two, two uh, hotel cards of pens at 
12.30 at night. Oh, stop griping. Okay. You had a good day. All right. Signing off for the moment. Guys. Hello. We're back in my apartment. We managed to schlep all these bags upstairs. Not very fun. Nice day outside. Might snow. Might be the first day I need to use my winter coat all winter. Apartment's looking tolerable. The big old TV is doing nicely. So, Paul, come on over here. Where? Now, come over to the little pile of pens. Oh. Now, yeah. my, my first question for you is, is it good or bad that I wanted to bring garbage bags? You were giving me grief. All the garbage bags? Yeah. I mean, should we have left the garbage bags home because we don't account chickens and all that? Uh, he was right. If we didn't have the garbage bags, I don't think we would have got the stuff back. Barely fit in the car. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The, the pens have been largely sorted by, well, if not absolute brand, certainly by location. I think we ended up with more Italian pens than we expected. This whole pile in the corner, Omas, Visconti, Crone. you got to take a peek at these. Aurora. Some serious pens here. Oh, they're beautiful. They really are. They're beautiful pens. So tell me, Paul, you've, you've been buying collections since, what, 1985? When were you?